Hello YouTube, what a beautiful shade trees I've got out here. We're going to attempt to show you how we did this. Okay, this is what we did. We have a rope going across her to the eyelets that holds the tarp up, okay? And what we did is we went under that hole to come out here and we made a little loop. So we hooked it on our hook, okay? Now we're going to zoom in. See that? You see how the rope comes out on this side? Then it's tied to this hook, okay? Then what we did is we tied that off, okay? We tied off a rope that was hanging the tarp and tied off the loop. So then we come over here and we tighten up the rope that holds the tarp up, and then we put a separate little string on the corner and tightened up the tarp. Because the tarp can still slide back and forth here. You can hang a tarp up like a curtain and let it slide back and forth. Let's back off. Go to excuse my bad photography. And the battery symbol's on. So you see that? You got a rope that hangs the tarp, right? But then you, I tied it in the middle. I've got it higher than it used to be because it catch on the door. I ripped the hole like within a week. Battery symbol's flashing. Oh, that gets you. Okay. Then we put a separate little rope here and tied the tarp over. Okay? You got what I mean? It's 70 degrees out. So, in low humidity, so we're taking advantage of this. If you look over there, you'll see the one I've got that just holds the tarp up. I have to go readjust that now. See how it sags? I get that as tight as I can. So, it holds the tarp up. And then we'll also tie it to the corner. See, there's only one rope. And we'll tie it off the hook over there. I made them flower pot hangers on a wrought iron flat strap came off a old buckboard wagon or something. Anyway, stay on subject. Yeah, and the paints, you can't keep paint on that porcelain white. And we might as well get distracted more. So I'd paint that green, but it would never stick. I'd scuff it up and everything. But that's cobbled together with the water pipe. But it works if I want to hook it up. Okay, let's take a break. We'll back out here. You love to zoom, huh? And then you can take your tarp and hide it up as much as you want. See, this is hooked over the house. You can make it up that high. You know, wherever you want. I keep it down low like in the winter time so the storms don't try to blow it up like a parachute. And I'm, usually the winds out are blowing 35 mile an hour, so we got a blessing day. I don't know if you can hear a lot of dogs bark. There's the elevators running at the green bins. You can hear the birdies sing. Let's take a break and change our battery. Oh, another quick tip. You can run a rope down through these eyelets if you think it's going to make this tarp any stronger. I found it's a waste of time. Add this great big rope in here. It's nasty stuff. Let me grab it. Don't look at the weeds back there. Never get never finish it. See, I just jumped. I just got paracord up there now. We're gone. Okay, we are done except for hooking to the house. See, I won't catch on the door. It's higher. The door, the door catch on there. Let, let's go over and zoom in. You'll see there's two separate ropes. See that? The rope that holds the tarp. Like I said, that that's just looped through. That come from underneath and pulled it through in a loop and hooked it over the hook. I think you know what I mean. There you go. Watch to the end of the video after pictures. I put in a little more extra clips showing my trees and stuff. If you, if you want to watch it. So we're done. Let's back off. When I'm done, I'll show you how much clearance is above the door, so you can see it. So don't the door don't hit it no more. Yeah, we're gone. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. You can do this anywhere. You got a building you want. You want to work outside your garage? You can rig this up with. If the neighbors don't like it, that's too bad. This is in my backyard, though. You can't really see it from the street. Okay, we're gone. We gotta we gotta get get a drink and have a break here.
That's an ash tree that curves. See it curving off? This is my big, they call it a Jesus tree. You can't kill it. It sprouts up, sprouts in the yard. Yeah, look at that thing. They cut the end off right there because it's going towards the fire line. Look how it bushed out like a palm tree. I like this tree because it looks tropical. There's a name for this tree. I don't know if it starts with an A. But this is really nice. See the three branches? One, two, three. And then up in here, there's three more. See that stalk right there? There's three more. This will be at the end of the video. For you people who watch all the pictures of it, see, you get an extra treat. But it's hard to film that ash tree. See it? And the ice storm bowed it way over, so now it's like an umbrella. Well, there's the maple tree over there. So, I have shade on the side of my house. And back there is like a doubled one. Can you see it right to the left? That's like a doubled tree. So, I get all the shade on the west side of my house now after 20 years of living here. There you go. See? Get that extra one minute clip. 